you can now preload the GTA Winter 2023 update. Also, we are going to be talking about new leaks regarding what we should receive an additional that Rockstar has not talked about in their last newswire that was published on November 30th. My name is GTA Puffs here. In today's video, we're going to be talking about all that. So let's get right into today's video. So yes, guys, tomorrow is December 12th, and that is when everyone wasn't expecting a GTA Winter Update because today was the last day that the GTA Plus benefits were going to expire. It was a two-week event week, and that means this sets up for a perfect Tuesday GTA Winter Update. But on Sunday, uh, December 10th, People have noticed if they have a PlayStation 4 or 5 console that you can actually preload the update. As you can see, the update is around 6.2 gigabytes on PlayStation 5. And you can see you can install this version of 1.006 on December 12th at uh, 11, 10 UTC time, and that means you can actually play this uh, update that you would preload it at 5 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, and that is a right time that Rockstar does update their tunables. And people were like, is this the first time that Rockstar's actually made you preload an update here on the Sony consoles? And I believe it is not. I believe there was one other time that Rockstar had that people have noticed preloads, but if you are on the Xbox or Microsoft consoles or even PC, you will not have the option to preload this update. You're just going to have to uh, update it when it does come out tomorrow on the 12th. Now, you're wondering uh, how many gigabytes are on the PlayStation 4 and does this have the whole update on it? And for PlayStation 4, it's around three gigabytes just because of the files are a lot bigger for the uh, next generation consoles compared to the old generation consoles. And these preloads just mean that uh, about 99% of the files within the update are uh, going to be preloaded in your game with that 0.5% of just additional day one files that Rockstar puts out is what's going to have to download tomorrow on, on the PlayStation uh, systems as we're talking about that uh, preload. So again, it's uh, excellent that Rockstar does do these preloads. I guess they just want to make it easier for players to... Um, you know, play this update a lot faster. I just don't know why they don't do it with Xbox or Microsoft. I just believe they don't have that uh, high of a connection with Microsoft than they do with Sony. Now, as players like me, we were probably expecting at least more information uh, last week or even over the weekend or even today on Monday, uh, December 11th. But Rockstar decided to not even bring out a newswire today regarding more information. The only newswire that we have about us even getting an update, we got on November 30th, and it just said new GTA Online update coming this December. Really didn't give us a time range on when we should receive this. Again, they did give us clarity of some stuff that we'll be receiving that I did talk about in a video, I believe, on my channel in the past. But regarding new information about this uh, new DLC that we didn't hear from Rockstar, we heard from a member from the council named Lucas L. Yosha on Twitter on December 7th the other day, and he said, some DLC info. We have quite a few missions, a robbery involved involving a sub, Robbing vehicles from Mays Bank, a cargo ship, Mission Row, and the casino. We also have new weapons, new tattoos, approximately 150 or more clothing items, but no new non-GTA Plus garage space brought to you by the council. And if you don't know who the council is, it's a group of people that have insights to files and everything that Rockstar puts out. They can see stuff early and et cetera that most players cannot see. So this is Lucas just digging a little deeper, uh, data mining some of the stuff that Rockstar has prepared for us that they didn't announce on their official newswire. So again, let's go over these missions. They seem 
a lot of fun. It looks like we're going to be ro robbing a sub. And the robbering vehicles from the Maze Bank, the cargo ship, Mission Row, and stuff like that, that seems to be fun. Now, I just want to say, I don't know how big this update is going to be. Players have been saying that this is going to be a smaller update to medium size. All we know is Rockstar is focusing on Grand Theft Auto 6. They just made that release a week ago today. Well, tomorrow it'll be, yeah, today because of the GTA 6 leaks happened on a Monday. So it was one week ago today. So they're, uh, you know, focusing on the next generation of the Grand Theft Auto series. But obviously they're going to be bringing out stuff for the 25th anniversary. We're going to be getting new holiday modes that we talked about in that newswire in the past. So this is just some extra stuff like new weapons, tattoos that players probably didn't know that was coming, but that again, they thought there's a lot more clarity on this because he said update to version two. Again, there could be more than one weapon. He said, he said there's a weapon, which is seamlessly a battle rifle. He said the number of tattoos closed refer to the Xbox one PlayStation four and the PC gen nine Infantile B has more than Gen 8. They also have ballpark figures, but I'm confident enough to give those a min nums. So what he's saying there, the last part, is um, talking about the tattoos and clothes. We're going to be getting more on the Gen 9 systems, that's to be expected, than the Gen 8, which next gen is going to get more clothes than the old gen. And what he's saying is there could be more than one weapon. So he said in the last post, that we're just going to get one weapon, but there could be more when he was going back and looking into the files. I don't know what a battle rifle would be. We would just have to see when that new update comes around. Also, uh, had a little more information to share. He said a bit more information to share the names of some awards from the DLC. We have an award called Prep Work, Getaway Vehicles, Extra Mile, Car Dealer, Weapon Arsenal, Secondhand Parts, Perfect Run, Surprise Tack. No other information than the names to go off of at this time. And so that's what we have. We have uh, some robbery missions and little missions to get us going through the winter update, tattoos, clothing, uh, weapons. But players want to see if we're going to be getting any vehicles. We've seen this one vehicle in the screenshot that we went over when Rockstar released that newswire on November 30th. And I think players were wondering, Lucas, is there any more vehicles going to be coming within this update? Lucas confirms no information on vehicles at this time. Haven't come across anything else. I thought that image that Rockstar did suggest showing us was a new vehicle, but apparently it is not. Maybe it's going to be a HSW HAL Special Works vehicle that we, uh, you know, convert within this update. Now, as I said in the beginning of today's video, that we should have had a newswire of like a name of this update. We don't even know what this name is. We don't even know if it's going to be coming out tomorrow on December 12th. And I think Rockstar is doing this approach within this update. They know that they made the GTA 6 announcement the other week, and they're trying to just let that settle down a little bit. And I think this is, we're going to be getting this update tomorrow on the 12th. And when we get this update, I'll be sure to cover it sometime tomorrow on my channel, but they're just going to put it out there. That's why they put that preload. We know there's going to be an update because why would they send something to the Sony consoles of getting a new version of 1.006, um, pretty much 1.6 version, and it's going to be installable tomorrow on the 12th. I'm sure it's not, you know, bug fixes or anything else, but Rockstar did kind of confirm some quality improvements on the newswire. So I believe they're just going to drop the update tomorrow at 5 a.m. and we'll be getting a newswire tomorrow some point which we will be diving into but don't panic guys we are going to be getting a GTA winter update 2023. So I want to hear from you guys in those comment section down below what do you think this theme of this update is going to be again I want to hear from you guys in those comment section down below. So again if you didn't enjoy today's video a like rating would be super awesome. Remember to subscribe for more GTA videos regarding this new winter update the theme and of course, more videos on GTA 6. My name is Puppy, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.